Hi guys, my name is Ferdy Korpshoek and in this video I will show you how you can install your Facebook pixel on your own WordPress website so you can track down your visitors and see if you have a nice return on investment when you're advertising on Facebook. What you also can do is use the Facebook pixel to create a custom audience based on the people that visit your website. So Facebook will take a look at the kind of people that visit your website and based on that they will create a perfect audience where you can advertise for. In order to get the Facebook pixel Go over here to the arrow down here at the right above and go to manage ads. Click on your name. And here we are. If we want to create a Facebook pixel, click over here at ads manager, click on all tools and click on pixels. And then we need to create a pixel. We can do that over here. I click on it. And the pixel's name will be ferdycorpushook.com. You can have only one pixel per account. So I use this one and I say next. Now I need to paste some code on my website. We have a WordPress website. How do we want to install this code? I use this one, copy and paste it. I click over here. And install the pixel based code. I can click here once and it says copy the code to the clipboard. I click here. Now I go to my website, ferdycorpsu.com, and I go to the back end. What I can do, I can go to appearance over here and then to the editor. You don't have to do this, but you can do this. Then I search for header.php, the theme header, and then I can paste the code. If I scroll down before this closing head tag, so you can search for this. If you can't find it and then you can paste it over here or what I like to do, because if I do this and Enfold comes with a new update and I update it, I don't use child themes. That's a different subject. Then my code is gone and then it doesn't work. So what I will do, I go to plugins add new and I search for tracking code manager over 60,000 downloads. So that's okay. I install this now, activate it. Then I go to tracking code manager in settings. I click on it. I create a new one. And the name is the Facebook pixel. I can paste the code over here and I want to place it before the closing head like this. Show only on device, on all devices. Where do you want to add this code? Standard code tracking on your WordPress website. The whole website, all the pages, I don't exclude posts or pages. So I save this. Now we've installed our Facebook pixel. I click on next. Install event code. We'll take a look at this later. I click on next. I just want to check if everything is working. Here it says it may take up to 20 minutes for your pixel status to change after installing it. So we can wait. What you also can do, we can download the pixel helper. It's an extension for Chrome. So I click over here. I click on download now. Add it to Chrome. Add extension. And here it is. So I close this and I go to the front page of my website. And I want to take a look. One pixel found on ferdicorpsu.com. Facebook pixel. And you can see all kinds of information over here. So it's working. So that's great. If I would go to the back end and I go to plugins and I would deactivate it. And I take a look at the website again. No pixel found. So we see it is working thanks to this amazing plugin. Activate it again. Refresh. And now it's working. 
So what's the next step we need to take? I go to the last page. Now we have a different overview. We have no pixel activity yet in the last seven days because we just uploaded it. So now we need to go to the next step. Now, what can we do with this Facebook pixel? You can see the behavior of your customers on your website, but you also can track certain goals or certain conversions. What we will do now, we will create a conversion. If you will advertise on Facebook and you send people to your website, you want to see how good is your advertisement. If 10 people come to your website and eight people would opt in into your mailing list, then that's very successful. But how can you track that? You can track that using a conversion. So I click over here. I go for a certain conversion. It's over here. It's a lead to my email list. And here are all kinds of conversion tracking names and codes. So here I see lead track when a user expresses interest in your offering, a landing page, pricing page, sign up for a trial or something like that. And what I want to do, I want to create a lead and I want to copy this. But before I copy this, I go to my website. I edit my Facebook pixel. I just copy it, command A, command C. And then I save it again and then I create a new one and it's called ebook opt-in. I paste the code. Now I go back to the ads manager. I copy this lead. I go back over here and here you see page view. Here you see the code of page view. So with this code, the Facebook pixel is tracking all the page views on every page. I click on enter after this and I paste the lead code. So now it will also take a look for leads. If I scroll down, this is okay. Show only on device. I showed on all devices. Again, it's a standard code tracking in your WordPress website. And now it's only in a specific page, which is let me see. Is it welcome? Yes, for your ebook, it's the welcome page. So I need to go to my tracking manager, include certain pages, and I type here welcome, this one. So this code is activated only on the welcome page. So Facebook sees when somebody enters this page, that means it is a lead. Facebook is tracking that and that's how we make a conversion. I don't need to include posts or exclude posts. I save it. And now if I refresh this right now, you see it's only one Facebook pixel. But now if I refresh this, there are two. The first one is the page view and the second one is the lead. So that's how we create a Facebook conversion pixel, if you can call it like that. What you can do if you want to go back to the tracking code manager, and we have now a Facebook pixel and a Facebook pixel with an ebook opt-in. If I go and edit that one, I can remove the page view because I have that code already in the Facebook pixel tracking code. So I save it and if I refresh it, you'll still see two pixels or two codes like this. And if I go to a different page, you will see only one. So now our Facebook pixel is active. I go back to the ads manager and I click on done. I refresh and if I scroll down, you see the page view. It's immediately active. So six people have already entered my website since I installed this an hour ago. And page views, five and one lead. And the lead, that's me. I will create one more conversion. I click over here again, track conversions. And I scroll down, I say, see more. And when somebody buys my course, I want to track that as a conversion. So I use this code, complete registration. And I copy this code over here. But before I do that again, I added the ebook opt-in. Edit, copy the code, save it, add new tracking code, 
course purchase. I paste the code, I go to the ad manager, copy this code, and I paste it here instead of the lead, I paste it like this. And then I scroll down, standard code tracking in your WordPress specific page. Include page and it is welcome to the course. So when somebody enters this page, this is the first page you see after they purchase my course, they go to welcome to the course, I save it. And when they go to that page, there's no information yet, but you will see two pixels again, complete registration and page view. So that's how it works. And I say done and I refresh this. And now you see the third one, complete registration. I tested a few times, so that's the reason why I have a four and a three over here. So that's how pixels work. So let's create a new audience based on the people that visit my website. So if certain people visit my website and they have Facebook, then Facebook can see what kind of people they are, what they, what things they like, what they're interested in. And based on that, Facebook will create an audience for me. So what is great about this is that I can advertise to people that visit my page already and then people also that have similar interests as the people that visit my website. What you also can do, you can remarket to the people that have visited your website, have not bought anything, and then you can send advertisements to them so they can opt in later or buy your course. How can you do that? Click on the create audience button and it's anyone who visits my website in the last 30 days. Include past website traffic. This is for if you have the Facebook pixel already longer than 30 days. And the audience name is for the Corpus Hook come audience. Create the audience. Thank you for your audience. It's ready. Because our Facebook pixel is already installed, we don't need to install something else. So our audience will be created in the next 30 days. We can take a look at it over here. Go to audiences. If you don't see it, click on all tools here, audiences. And here it is right now. The audience is too small because there are not a lot of people that have visited my website in the last five minutes. So in a few days, Facebook will create a custom audience for us. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos and uh, I wish you the best and I see you next time. Bye bye.